Okay, we're looking at the entrance to the Don Giovanni Hotel in Prague. I've stayed here probably well over 10 times in the junior suite at around sort of 100 to 150 euros a night. I think it represents the best bang for the buck in Prague, uh, which is why I keep coming back. Here you see some staff rearranging the, the chess set. There's a massive chess set. And we're looking at the bar area now. That piano gets played by a pianist on a regular basis, even like really early in the mornings. And uh, one thing just to remember, if the bar gets busy and it, it does get busy in the evenings, it sometimes takes a bit of a time to get some service so I do recommend sort of getting your drinks from the bar uh, and it's uh, yeah, the, the staff are really really nice and here is another piano but it, that one doesn't get played for some reason it's just probably a spare this area does get really busy around check-in check-out times and it is also the hotel for the the emirates uh, cabin crew here we've got the games room i've never played this pool table or anything in here but it is a nice addition we got a little football table there and this one is I believe ice hockey So then, around the corner, we could just got this little room here for cigarette machine, and you can buy metro and tram tickets uh, here. And then, uh, around the corner is the elevator bank. It's usually quite fast. You do need your room key to uh, activate the floors. So this is the top floor, the 12th floor, and it leads to the uh, club lounge. First, uh, we're going to go out this door here, uh, which is a, it's a nice uh, balcony that overlooks in the direction of the city. So that little tower you've got right in the middle of the frame there's the uh, the, the Prague TV tower uh, it's well worth a visit there and you've got a massive bus stop down there and that is an absolutely massive cemetery uh, we're looking at over there so then oh this is the actually the reception for the spa. Yeah, there's there's a quite a big spa and Thai massage um, uh, salon there as well. So yeah, this is the reception for it. So we go past that to get to the uh, club lounge. This is the spa on the left. Just uh, let the staff member know our room uh, number. And here is the chill out area, I call it. Uh, it's, yeah, it's massive library. Uh, there's TV there. And for some reason, they, they, they've got some stuff to do with the uh, local football team. And then over there is the snacks area. One thing to remember is 
yeah, you you got a nice coffee machine. I think there's the uh, espresso and lingo options there. Uh, but one thing to remember, they don't do any sugar-free drinks. So, uh, Don Giovanni Management, if you're watching this, yeah, please include uh, sugar-free drinks. Uh, you, you've got space for it because you've got two Pepsi ones there, so you could easily put Pepsi Max in there. Yeah, there is absolutely no sugar-free options there. Got a few selections of beers. Uh, yeah, the apple and orange juice. And, yeah, some more tables and chairs. And then you can go out here and you're on the opposite side um, of uh, where we were earlier. So you're basically seeing... Um, the, the opposite end of the city so you'll see in the outskirts um, over there there's a little small garden uh, quite interesting architecture yeah, it's not so not so attractive uh, looking in this direction So yeah, the, the, this area is actually quite a pleasant area. I think there's a, there's a table or two with chess sets on them. Uh, the ones by the window have uh, electric points uh, where you can charge your laptop up. All the books are um, in their own country categories. So you've got a lot of uh, yeah, international books there. I, I yeah I can't I come up here all the time. Uh, well, it's free drinks, so why not? Okay, this is uh, the route to breakfast. You come out of the elevator bank and. You just uh, give the lady your room number and then uh, you're presented with this uh, initially. So you've got a lot of cereal stuff, jams, and breads. Yeah, it's a, a massive selection of uh, breads though. And yeah, quite an array of various cereals. And here's the cold buffet. So you got various fruits, cheeses, uh, butters, uh, and salamis and hams.
and then you've got the hot uh, section so you've got fried eggs various spreads and we've got some nice rather nice uh, pork sausages there those are the red sausages I usually get quite a lot of those those beans I tried those beans once there <laughs> if you used to if you used to British beans no you're not gonna like those they do hash browns which I yeah I like and sometimes I don't know if they still do it but they used to do some like rosemary roast potatoes like mini roast potatoes which I used to love um, but on this occasion they uh, did hash browns they're yeah, quite an array of, of teas and then uh, a coffee machine with quite an extensive uh, range well not extensive but <laughs> it's better than nothing um, I usually I usually have an espresso anyway and then yeah you've got another seating area plus there's also uh, a seating area outside and then yeah you've got the water and you've got apple and orange and I think grapefruit juice And this is what I usually get as my starter. One thing to remember is that apple juice and orange juice are watered down. They are seriously watered down. The apple juice, I reckon it's about 30% apple juice, 70% water, where the orange juice is about 50%. And this is what I have, this is what I have uh, for main, and yeah, it's really, really nice. Okay, that's my review of the Don Giovanni, and if you have any questions, just ask in the comments, and I'll answer everyone. And I'll include the link to the room review in the description. Please uh, take a look. Before I go, I'd just like to talk about why I keep coming here. Uh, I've, I've, I've been to the Don Giovanni well over 10 times. It's probably closer to 20. Now, it's it's great bang for your buck. It's, it's a little bit out of the centre, four metro stops out of the centre, which means it's not going to be your typical centre hotel, which is small and expensive definitely not not your best bang for your buck there but it's not so far out the city that it becomes a pain to get back in it's only four metro stops <laughs> literally just six seven eight minutes um at a guess uh, to get back to a museum and it's also direct to the airport for the metro so you can get a bus and a metro for the same uh, speed as a car i've timed it 45 minutes from from the moment you board a bus and that's just that's absolutely fantastic you can't do it faster in a car i've i've taken taxis from the airport or cars from the airport ubers from the airport and you 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 can't beat the the bus and metro so that's it for this one if you find this interesting please like and subscribe and to end the video i'm going to leave you with a time lapse i took from our suite on the fifth floor facing the city enjoy